Let's say that I have 1 million DAI, and if I were to trade this 1 million DAI for USDC, I would only get about 975,000 USDC. Both the DAI and USDC are stable coins, so each of these coins will be very close to $1. So ideally, if I were to trade 1 million DAI for USDC, I would like to get 1 million USDC. However, on Uniswap, by trading from DAI to USDC, I lose about $25,000. This is where Curve.Finance is a better option for trading tokens. Curve Finance allows you to exchange similar value tokens with minimal loss. So here I have three tokens, DAI, USDC, and USDT. They're all stable coins pegged to the USD, so all of these will be close to $1. Now, similar to Uniswap, if I were to trade 1 million DAI for USDC, I would get over $1,500,000 worth of USDC. Unlike Uniswap, where I would have lost $25,000. The reason why exchanges on Curb is a better deal for similar value tokens can be explained in this graph. Here is the graph of Uniswap. If I were to trade a large amount on Uniswap, the token that I want to buy will become more and more expensive. So the bigger amount of token that I try to sell, I will get less amount of token that I want to buy. On the other hand, this is the graph of curve. Notice that in the middle, it is kind of flat. This means that if I were to trade in this region, I would get a token swap of almost close to one to one. We'll cover the details of the math for this curve in another video. In this video, I'll show you how to swap one token for another using Viper. The curve contract that we'll be interacting is called StableSwap 3 pool. And the function that we need to call is called exchange. On curve, there are many pools, for example, compound, Y, BUSD, and the one that we're going to be using for this example called 3 pool. So what is a pool and why is there so many? Each pool holds groups of tokens that are in similar value. So for example, 3pool is a contract where you can swap DAI, USDC, and USDT, which are all about $1 in value. Back in our Viper contract, I defined the interface called StableSwap, and the function that we're going to be calling is exchange. It's going to take in four parameters, the index of the token to sell, and the index of the token to buy, the amount of token to sell, and the minimum amount of token that should be returned. Next, I'm going to define some constants. The address of the stable swap contract that we're going to be calling. This is the address of stable swap 3 pool. And then the addresses of the stable coins, DAI, USDC, and USDT. Next, I've created an array holding the addresses of DAI, USDC, and USDT. The ordering matters here. The index of this array corresponds to the index that is referenced here. So for example, if I were to trade from DAI to USDC, DAI is index 0 and USDC is index 1. So inside this function, I would put in 0 and 1. The function that we're going to be calling for this example, I've named it swap. And it's going to take in two parameters, i and j, corresponding to the index of the tokens that we're trading. Now I want to get the address of the token at tokens at index i but the Viper compiler is giving me an error. So I'm gonna copy the whole array of tokens and the compiler error goes away. Next, I'm gonna get the balance of token i locked in this contract. When we run the demo, we'll send some tokens before we call this swap function. So that by the time we call this function, bal will be greater than zero. We approve the stable swap contract to spend bal amount of token i from this contract. And then finally call the function exchange on the stable swap contract. We'll do an exchange from token i to token j, sending all of the token i that we have. And we'll say that the minimum amount of token j that must be returned is 1. A minor detail here is that we will need to convert both i and j from uint256 to int 128. This is because the exchange function accepts both i and j to be of type int128. Okay, so now we're ready to simulate this exchange. Let's spin up a mainnet fork on Ganache and then run this test. 
This test will swap USDC to USDT. And we'll be swapping 1 million USDC. And after the swap, we'll be logging out how much USDT we get. In one terminal, I have Ganache running on mainnet fork. And then inside another terminal, we'll run the test. USDT has six decimals. So that is the amount of USDT we got. Over 999,000 for a million USDC. So we lost less than $800 for trading 1 million USDC to USDT. Thanks for watching.